the Earl of Dartmouth wishes to put a question to you. Do you agree? I allow to. But tell her, thank you for thank you for taking my question. Uh, in your speech, the translator describes you describing the nomination of Mr. Juncker as a victory for democracy. At the next session of the Parliament, will Mr. Juncker's name be the only name put forward for the Parliament to vote on? And if Mr. Juncker's name is the only name put forward for the Parliament to vote on, as has always happened in past precedents, how can this possibly be a victory for democracy, even for a socialist? Yeah, it's okay. Caro collega. Dear colleague, let me explain in simple terms. First of all, the governments get together and they uh, nominate a, a president of the commission. That's not um, a demonstration of great democracy. For the first time in history, there was an electoral campaign where the big European political families indicated the personalities and the citizens cast their vote in cognizance of those personalities and the majority result of the vote was for Mr. Juncker. The democratic consequence of that is the um, uh, nomination of uh, Mr. Juncker. I think that that can be too difficult to get your head around.